On this video blog, I decided to visit my old alma mater, Milan State University. And uh, it's a small university, and I had a very good time here. And I just thought I'd take a look around and see if I could drum up any memories and show off the new place. I started Minot State University back when it was still Minot State College in the fall of 1975. Hmm. I was kind of a cutie. Hmm. Although it's changed quite a bit since then, the major layout is about the same. This being Saturday, the place is pretty empty, but there's still stray students here and there putting time in on the weekend, sort of like I did, which is probably why I didn't get to use those really hot looks I had back then. Hmm. There are many ways the universities come up with to raise money, but this is ridiculous. Ghosts from my past are still hanging around in some form or another. Most, however, are just numbers on the door. For those of you who were around here about 10, 15 years ago, this used to be the recording studio. And now I believe it's the English department, so uh, no more recording studio, which is a bummer. And uh, back in the day, of course, we used to have to bring all of our equipment up uh, about three flights of stairs, and that would be like amps and drums and things like this. Now they have a causeway on this third floor that goes over to an elevator. <laughs> some things change, some things remain the same. Like that feeling that you got that you'll never get any action in college, and years later, you see that old picture of yourself, and it haunts you. I was hot! I was hot! Let's just wrap this up. Well, that's about it for MSU. You know, and I always said that if I'd ever go back to any part of my life at all, it would definitely be my college years. Just wrap your lips around my